I mean, this will do. <laughs> oh, are you okay? Just leave that. Good boy. Give me a bram. So I'm going to be just throwing slash kicking the ball for the dogs and speaking because that might be easier to focus with. Ready. Oh, good catch. Good boy. Come here. So yesterday. Oh, what well done. Yesterday? <laughs> Was it yesterday? Like, shit, what is time? Okay, Sunday, we went to yeah, we're done. the pub. And I haven't really updated properly since then because it, it was, um, it was really good. It was exhausting. Hey, good boy. Hey, good dog. Um, it was like a really nice walk there. It was sunny. It was weird being around people. Uh, I found that like speaking, speaking, um, oh, good catch. <sighs> to the person at the bar was different to usual, or I was different, um, which was really cool. Actually still way too cold. It's too hot with the jacket on. Too cold with it off. That is England. Can you move back a bit? Good. Oh God, sorry. I was different. Um, it wasn't like, I used to, whenever we'd go to the bar, like there was a, good dog, jump it, good dog. There was always a, a massive anxiety in me. And um, hey, good dog. Done. Like heart racing, constantly thinking about how I look and how I'm observed, whether what I'm saying or doing is normal. It was like, oh, it's chaos. And then um, during the days where we were on testosterone, uh, that started to get a little easier. Sometimes it was. To be honest, that was when I noticed it being like more often easy, but I had moments where it was easy before then. And always with this vibe that I now know is um, Vince in formerly either part of himself being Cocon. So that was the only time that I'm experiencing anything other than like breathtaking anxiety ordering at a bar. <clears throat> but, and like, oh, if, if there was a, hey, like anything going on in my head, I'd be like really racing thoughts. So I'd be like, is what I'm saying normal? Do I look normal? Am I moving normal? Oh, I had a thought, oh God, what if I lose what they're saying? And like, then I blank, what if I forget the sentence that just all of this without knowing that I was struggling with symptoms of um, a dissociative disorder. And then obviously just social anxiety to the max. And then sometimes I'd feel really confident and the order would just come out and I wouldn't know why. <laughs> and I wouldn't notice that my voice changed got a lot deeper and like, no, all of that, that's normal. Uh, <laughs> so it was like, hey, oh. As far as I'm aware, my ordering at a bar has always created turmoil, anxiety and racing thoughts. And, um, that was very different this time when we were there. Hey. Like, I took my time looking at what I wanted and thinking about it without thinking, oh shit, I gotta rush, I gotta like not hold people up. I didn't take like a ludicrous amount of time to actually hold people up, but you know, enough that I could think about what I wanted. And the woman was like, well, why don't you, like, how, what about, because uh, we were like, oh, I'm trying to avoid as much sugar as I can. And she was like, why don't you try vodka? And I was like, unfortunately, I have put myself off of that with one too many repeat occurrences. And I was just very natural feeling and fine and not anxious, really. Um, 
I felt comfortable in my skin and in talking. It was very weird. And all the time I could <laughs> I could hear Vince behind me like brew dog and I was just like I kinda heard it but I was too focused on what I was hearing outside so I couldn't focus. And then after he was just like beer and I was just like okay beer and she was like lager or bitter and he was like bitter and I was like bitter apparently <laughs> so and I didn't freak out about the fact that I'd said apparently or like any of this just kind of was, was fine was normal it was weird sitting and doing normal person drinking activities and then there was as <laughs> as our short suggests <clears throat> There was one moment where uh, we were sort of speaking to each other back and forth as we do and mum went into order and that which I am very grateful for because my memory of orders oh, is not as good as hers um, as a former oh, UK waitressing staff. So <clears throat> her memory for orders is like rock solid. Mine is not. <laughs> and uh, she went in to order. Hey, good doggo. And we were sat at the outside table still talking to each other. And, um, hey, it was so good with the puppy. Jazz. Ah. Oh, good catch. And, uh, then I am very distractible. Yes. But also it's still easier for me to remember while I'm doing something. I, it's, uh, harder if I'm not doing something to occupy my mind at the same time. So, uh, yeah, we were talking back and forth and there was a family sat at the table behind us who, uh, as we were talking, I could hear them quieten down and start speaking in more hushed tones. And then the woman came round the table and looked us up and down and did two or three circuits looking at us up and down. I kind of got the feeling they were trying to be a bit casual but not really hiding it and then they were like come on kids and just moved tables to across the um, outside bit which made me go ah a little bit in people pleaser. It was a little bit stressful but not terribly and I managed to like stay grounded in myself and just do the breathing and the oh what we are doing in normalizing behavior as a system is going to be met with some uncomfortable responses because it is not normalized yet in society it doesn't mean we're doing anything wrong <sighs> sort of did all the work and that was fine um i only had like heightened adrenaline for a few minutes after <sighs> i managed to breathe down from it I've basically very much managed to stay in myself, in ourselves, uh, focus on and prioritize our emotional experience of the whole event, <sighs> respond in a way that was not people pleasing at any point. Um, it was, it was good because like I haven't had many experiences to practice responding in a way that just is authentic and genuine and centered on us and how we feel other than with our partner and like th three or four friends that we message online and then our mum so it's kind of a relief in a way to go to like a public setting and learn that I could stay with us and that everything distracted me in the environment and everyone else's experience didn't pull me away from us. Um, it did, it, there is a tug, I do feel it, but it doesn't make me leave. I'm still able to sort of sit here and feel what we're feeling and think and be present and make mindful decisions rather than getting swept up into a process or something. Um, which is completely all my life has been so it, it's very weird like we had an awakening or something last year and we haven't lost it I keep getting scared that certain situations will take me away from myself 
and make me like mindless instead of mindful in my responses again and we'll just run on an auto process like we always used to but so far it's like you can't you don't seem to be able to become unmindful it's like once i've experienced what it's like to be able to stay present and think and feel through my decisions and choose them um that's not something that i seem to forget i imagine like in heightened levels of anxiety some processes might be more like stronger and more tempting to run i did feel like it was hard it was hard to breathe and slow myself down and keep with us but i didn't just get taken off and it wasn't impossible so that was pretty cool i like that oh, i'm very relieved really to know that we can stay with ourselves i can stay with us Vince obviously does not have any anxiety whatsoever when it comes to stuff like this. I just laughed when they moved tables and was like, this is great, we, we can get any space we want. I was just like, I'm legitimately so glad that you are happy about this. It helps distract me from the crippling dread. Okay, Connor climbed a tree in a dress and heels. Uh, we were all very impressed. It was very good. He says it was a challenge. It did look like one. <sighs> hey. <laughs> Mum didn't want us to ruin the boots because they were new and they were really good quality leather. Um, like really good quality leather and she was like discouraging of him to climb the tree and he was absolutely unfazed and was like i'm gonna climb the tree and she was like no I well i won't watch and he was like okay that won't put me off at all <laughs> and like just absolutely unswayed by a uh, lack of encouragement which for a people pleasing system i think is really impressive um I'm really impressed with him. I'm really impressed with all of us. And um, I think I think that's basically it. It's some nice conversations. And um, hey, hey, hey. It's pretty much just been rest and ah, oh, this fucking patch. Rest. You know, iron on patches, leather. Not a good mix shocking right <laughs> but uh we've pretty much just been resting and recovering since because the walk there and the expenditure of energy um just drained us as it usually would to be honest so we've pretty much just been resting and recovering since it's slept through like a whole day i think that's it i think that updates sufficiently <laughs>